Diaz has plenty to say, but has trouble finding the words and the courage to say it in English and Spanish. She's okay as long as she's with Mama, her older brother Nick, or her best friend Jenny. But this year, Jenny is in a different class and Stella still has to go to speech class to practice talking properly. Maybe this year won't be too bad, but then Stella finds out that there's a new student named Stanley that could be her friend. There's a spelling bee where you have to speak in public and at the end of the year, she will have to give an oral report on marine life. They are all activities that sound fun, but they all require talking. That means getting stomach aches and ending up mispronouncing words that make her face turn rojas. Find out if Stella ever finds her voice in Stella Diaz Has Something to Say by Angela Dominguez. So author and illustrator Angela Dominguez has written plenty of picture books before, but this would be her debut middle grade novel and she packed a lot into it. As mentioned before in the trailer, there are several events coming up for Stella that require talking, but Stella also has to deal with bullying from a classmate, confusion and being an alien in the United States. Does that mean she's from outer space or more seriously, when she gets citizenship, will she finally stop being an outsider? There's even a part where Stella talks about how she feels she can't speak English well enough to be understood, but she's not fluent in Spanish either, so either way in school or with extended family, she still feels she doesn't quite fit in in either. Dominguez handles juggling these issues really well, and it probably helped that in the author note she mentioned that Stella is based about 82.9% on her life. This would be a definite read. For those who like books like Clementine or Jasmine Ducucci or Lola Levine, any of those fun, uh, highly illustrated chapter books, this would be for you. So grades two to four, I would say. So thanks for watching and happy reading.